Hey everyone, this is Squall Snake, and today I am playing Unmetal on Xbox One, and I am really excited about this. This is a Metal Gear parody game, and if you've been following my channel, I streamed with my other writer from MyGamer.com. We streamed the, the preview version of Unmetal a month or two ago now, and now it's coming available on console. At the time of this stream, the game is not yet available on console. I don't believe anyway, but it's going to be available in like a week or something like that. And the stream that we played, this game was awesome. It was really funny and just a great Metal Gear parody. I'm going to play it on easy because I just want to enjoy this game. arrested by the same bastards who shot him down and later was brought to a military base for interrogation that pilot was me name my name is fox jesse fox you don't seem to be russian russian me you were piloting a russian aircraft two hours ago i also drive a toyota and i'm not japanese all right mr fox before arresting you, I'm obligated to write down a report with your version of the facts. So tell us what the hell you were doing in that heavily armed Soviet helicopter. It's a long story. Sergeant, bring us some coffee. Yes, sir. Wachowski, bring the lieutenant some coffee. Yes, sir. Well, Mr. Fox, we have plenty of time. Explain what happened. In 1972, a crack commando unit threw me in a prison for a crime I didn't commit. You're under arrest for a crime you didn't commit. I promptly escaped from a maximum security stockade to the underground, trying to survive from these soldiers of fortune. The Great Escape. So, the game is basically just a big... Game. How did you escape from that cell? Piece of cake. I just had to write a note. A note? Where'd you get the paper from? I used toilet paper. I see. And how did you find a pen? A pen? I was in a dirty, grimy cell, not in an office. I wrote the note with a rusty wire, using my own blood as ink. Yeah, so it's just one big flashback. <laughs> Press Y to enter the inventory and combine items. I scratched my arm with the wire and got to work. It wasn't easy. The toilet paper tore under the pressure of the bloody wire. Those bastards gave us cheap paper. One ply, unscented, and unpatterned. Why did you break the toilet? Why not grab the paper like a normal person? You know how prison is. It's kill or be killed. And I wasn't going to be killed by some dirty toilet. <laughs> hey, you moron! Holy Jesus! You schmuck. Do you really think I'd be stupid enough to kill myself? Kill myself. <laughs> Keep a press close to a flashing enemy to search him. He may be carrying something. So he wrote that note. That's cra So that's why this game is funny. Like, humor is something that not many games get and get right but this game has already nailed it right on the head uh, select an inventory once select I'll press X to use okay you could follow me on Twitter at Zach Gaz by the way mr. Fox what about the noose where did you get that from where did I get the noose? Are you seriously asking me that? I am, Mr. Fox. I'll tell you later. 
Press Y to open the inventory, then right bumper to see the controls of the game and change them as you wish. Anyway, Zach at Zach Gaz, Z A C K G A Z. If you want to follow me on Twitter. In a prison yard surrounded by some buildings. There were piles of boxes and other stuff here and there, and the ground was plain dirt. Oh, and it was night. contained some filthy cloth scraps. I made some handy bandages to prepare for when I would get wounded. Bad news. Dirty cloth rags don't heal you. They just stop the bleeding, and I ain't got time to bleed. Good news. I could reuse these rags as much as I wanted. Good dirty cloth is hard to come by. be asleep at night, that it was safe to escape. I was dead wrong. I noticed the presence of. So this is where the game lets you pick the story. So you can pick one or you can pick two. I'll just pick one, one just to see what happens. So if you land, I didn't do it here because I learned from when I streamed the PC version, is if you would have been in that red ring when he sneezes, Mr. Fox here, he actually says, bless you, and then you get found, <laughs> which is hilarious. Why would he, if he's trying to sneak, he still says, bless you. Injured and losing blood. Yeah. I, had I didn't realize he was facing the other way. I bled to death. You have to pee to save the game. Hey, over here. Hello? You talking to me? Affirmative. My name is Colonel Alan Harris, 5th Battalion. I'm Jesse Fox. Right. I'm not military, Colonel. Then tell me, Fox, what the hell are you doing here? I've been jailed for a crime I didn't commit. Do you know how to get out of here? Try to escape through any sewer. There must be one nearby, because it's stinks when it's hot. Once outside, move along at night time and sleep during the day. What about you, Colonel? I've been tortured. My legs won't make it. But if you bring me a radio, I can help you escape. 
Hold on. Harris, are you sure you heard him say Alan Harris? Yes, sir. Saw him yesterday. Look, Mr. Fox, Colonel Harris died a month ago in an ambush. Well, it's the name that stubborn old man gave me. I see. I'll write down on the report that you talked to Colonel Harris after his death. Continue your story. As I was saying, I searched for a radio to bring him. I found my salvation. A sewer hole. There was no ladder and I couldn't see the bottom. I needed to find a ladder or rope if I wanted to go down. These arrows indicate that there is an enemy on the next screen. Arrow's point where they're facing grows larger the closer they are. I took a coin off the guard. Money? What'd you intend to spend it on? I suspect there's no shops open for an escapee on a midnight run. Who said anything about spending? I used it to distract soldiers. I quickly found out that guards love picking up free coins off the ground. Hey! A coin! Almost. Not good. We'll try again. I took a coin off the guard. Money? What'd you intend to spend it on? I suspect there's no shops open for it. radio. Without encryption, I knew other guards could listen in on my conversations with Harris. I see. You still haven't told me how you got that noose. I'll tell you later. As I was saying, I needed to find a special encryption circuit to install in the radio. Oh, so that's where I gotta get the circuit that's in here. the circuit. I just had to attach it to the radio. Radio. Oh. I 
could speak to Harris with oh. no one listening. Now, I just had to bring it to him. And the noose? Later. I found my salvation. Here you are, Colonel. A radio. I've modified it to encrypt the signal. Oh, good job, son. Do you have another one for you? Not yet. I'll call you through channel one as soon as I find another. Good luck, son. And Godspeed. Completed uranium ball. You stole a one-eyed man's patch? A one-eyed man that would shoot me without hesitation. Because it was his job, what you did was macabre and suggest you might have a fetish. Holy Jesus. Well, that patch turned out to be handy to create a lethal weapon. Paper. Can you bring me some? Here you are. Thanks, man. You saved my ass, literally. What the fuck? What sort of paper is this? It's only one ply, unscented, and unpacked. It's the kind the prisoners use. Fuck, that's why their hands stink so much. By the way, are you? I don't recognize your voice. I'm Lieutenant Marcus Stevenson. Lieutenant, you say? Sir, I apologize for my manners. I did not know your rank, sir. Relax and clean up your rear guard well. Sir, yes, sir. broke down the door and attacked a guard while he was on the toilet? Yes. I beat the shit out of him. <laughs> Is that a joke? No. I literally beat the shit out of him. That toilet paper wasn't unscented anymore. Let's move on. <laughs> just, like, there's no reason for that. They just had to write that joke, and then you get the used toilet paper back. That's awesome. That's awesome. ran into a guard as I went in. So is he alert or is he sleeping? I guess I'll go sleeping? Luckily, the guy was sleeping. That bastard was going to have a rude awakening. So if I take this 
Y-shaped stick in this. A weapon you created with the patch. Yeah. It's a slingshot. Sort of childish, don't you think? What were you gonna shoot? Pebbles? Depleted uranium balls. Three shots and goodbye guard. Level up. Your punch is strike twice against the enemies in containers. Your speed increases 10%. We'll go punches. Why not? Do not. With those first aid kits, I could disinfect and heal my wounds. Good news, those kits stopped any bleeding and also healed my wounds over time. Bad news, once you used them, they were gone. Empty Putty. Quick saves your current game, but it's lost if you exit the game. Lighter. What if you combine this with the lighter? No. Yeah, I didn't want to pick him up there, but well, there's the smokes. So you leave a blood trail if you don't plug up the wound. Got a cigarette butt, not sure what to do with it. I'm sure I'll need it later. Let's see what's in here. Hey bro, help me. Get me out of this hole. If you're in a cell. It's because you committed a crime, and I don't free criminals. But you're a prisoner too. I've been in prison for a crime I didn't commit. Fuck you. Hey friend, I'm also innocent. That's what they all say. Please, they keep the key in that box. Dude. Oh, what a pity. The key broke. You bastard. Hasta la vista. <laughs> she just breaks the key. 
I guess I should have went in here maybe first, but I didn't know. That was weird. Maybe that was a one-time only thing? Don't know. The soldier said to his captain, Sir, I need to request leave for this weekend. Why do you need it, Private? I'm gonna have a baby. Congratulations, request granted. Next week, the captain asks him, Private, is it a boy or a girl? And the soldier replies, I don't know, sir. I'll find out in nine months. What's in your closet, Private? It's water, sir. Don't lie to me. This is wine. Praise the Lord. I reached a special place where I found something. What, Mr. Fox? It was... What was it? Damn, I can't remember. It's the oldest trick ever. As soon as you crouch down, smack! Smack what? The owner will show up and kick your ass. The Sarge says to the soldier, Someone sent you a blank letter. The soldier says, It's from my wife, Sergeant. How do you know that, soldier? Because we argued and we don't talk to each other. The soldier says to his captain, Sir, I need to request leave for this weekend. Why do you need it, Private? I'm gonna have a baby, sir. Congratulations, request granted. Escaping prisoner! Ah. Oh. Bullets take a lot of energy. At least it put me right here. That's good. Okay. Soldier says to his Escaping prisoner. Oh, there's the rope I need to get down. Oh, so I'm back here again. Okay, that's perfect. Look at that clever game design. I got ready to use the rope to go down, but I couldn't find anywhere to tie it. I needed a hook or something to anchor it to the edge of the hole. I got ready to use the rope to go down. Oh. But I <laughs> you put the sunglasses on, the game just gets darker. Look at that. That's hilarious. I think I got everything, so I'm not sure. Maybe I have what I need. Hmm. I don't know. Thought 
thought I might have had to use this box for something, but... Well, I already pushed it that way. Okay, I couldn't have moved it anywhere else anyway, so it can't be this box. Something over here? Got any suggestions, Colonel? Hmm. You can't tie it to the fence. Can't shoot the ball at him. <laughs> okay, I guess I wasn't supposed to punch the propane tank. Oh man. For a rope, obtain an encrypted radio. Oh. oh, what? He punched me. I could dodge bullets by rolling. I didn't know that. But he punched me through. That's nuts. I did not expect that at all. I wonder if this one will do the same thing. It <laughs> seems like it. Well, learn that lesson the hard way. Wonder if the prisoner can give me something now, I don't know. doesn't seem to want anything. Him. There was a ditch. A simple ditch stopped you? This was no mere simple ditch. 
It was full of tentacles and blood-stained spears that moved up and down and bony arms that tried to grab me and deadly lays. Okay, okay, Mr. Fox. I get it. You couldn't reach him. For your own good, I'll not include the spears, arms, and tentacles in my report. Now, Mr. Fox, <laughs> please continue your story. All right. The fight began as he tossed the first grenade at me. Yeah, this is kind of where we beat this guy when we first played the PC version, and then I think we ended it. Uh, oh, one hit, damn. All right, I didn't know it was just going to be one hit. That's all right, I think it saved it right here. Yeah, here we go. Oh, yeah, now I remember. It was that... So you can skip the cutscenes, you just hold down B. front of them. There we go. I searched the grenade guy. Wait, wasn't there a ditch? I used the bridge. What bridge? But you told me you couldn't cross the ditch. Because I didn't see it at first. I was completely focused on my opponent, <laughs> the grenade guy. I see. So stupid. Oh, that's what I need. So I wonder if then if I combine, do I have to combine? Yeah. Colonel still isn't going to say anything to me. That's fine. I was about to go down that hole when I remembered that I still hadn't radioed the colonel. Hmm. Need to get a radio somewhere. I still think this prisoner can give me something. Maybe not. Because it's telling me to use a key here, but I don't have any keys.
Yeah, this is where I first started. Alright, so nothing back. I don't know where to go. Everything was going pretty smooth up until this point. Save it. Guess I'll do another lap. I, let me check this again because I think you gotta... So I can't combine the circuit with anything, so I have to find the phone. Maybe there's a guy... Oh, hello. Did I not search him before? <laughs> Jeez. Alright. With the radio encrypted, I could talk to Harris. I wouldn't have been able to escape without his help. I hate to admit it, but the grumpy old man gave some good advice. Press left trigger to use the radio. Colonel, do you copy? Copy. I found a rope to go down the sewer. And you're not down yet? What the hell are you waiting for? I'm on it, Colonel. I couldn't see the bottom of that hole, but I anchored the rope and I went down. Stage complete. The Great Escape. I did not find a secret. I did not know there was one. Chapter 2. Something stinks really bad. I anchored the rope and went down into the pitch darkness. Finally, I touched ground. I was in a sewer composed of narrow passages. There were channels of rotten water and narrow sidewalks. And the typical pipes and waste everywhere. It smelled like shit. The putrid air was barely breathable. But once my lungs got used to that stench, I started to investigate my surroundings. First off, I had to check the depth of the water. Severed arm. Alright, so I'm going to call it here just because I beat level 1 and at the time I think there's an embargo and I'm only allowed to stream maybe the first two levels. I'll probably stream this level later, even today or even tomorrow or something like that. But this is Unmetal and yeah, I really like this game. It's awesome. Check it out. It's going to be available on console soon. Here's the achievements, by the way. So there's, it looks like there is... 9 nine or ten levels total and I just beat level one there you can get an achievement for reaching level ten something about a photograph finish the game without using the potty neutralize five guards with the slingshot heal twenty guards heal twenty guards put them to sleep ninety or more bullets at the same time complete the catacombs without drawing cell gates so a lot of a lot of achievements here Defeat sewer junk without using the flamethrower. Alright, so that's kind of a... That's coming up soon. Break all toilet doors. Nothing hidden, though. All achievements are out and ready to be obtained. So... Yeah, that's Unmetal. You can follow me on Twitter at Zach Gaz, Z A C K G A Z. Please check out mygamer.com. It's where I've been writing for that site for almost two decades now. And check out my personal blog at squallsnake.com. And until next time, thank you for watching and game on.